y'all. So the whole Walmart, well, media tip side is nearly down. Uh, manager just told me that bottom side is cold, top side is warm. And places don't have no airflow. All right, guys, so it's kind of weird. These tips right here for all the circuits that's down indicating that's in the low 30s. And I'm trying to pull up this grid and it's taking so forever. And I'm checking in here, look oddly suspicious. So it seems like all the cases have frozen over and never had went through a defrost. As you can see, I got flood back like crazy, which is mind blowing. I don't know if the controllers communicating like they supposed to. As y'all can see, that's the other rack. Y'all see how it's communicating? Oh, I'm gonna blow somebody head off, man. This thing right here wasn't even plugged in. Now we got lights. I wonder why the hell, y'all see it still taking forever. My goodness. Well, guys, somebody had unplugged that controller. Ain't no way. So, somebody had been here recently. Um, I don't know who, but apparently that uh, controller, that Novar ES1, that actually helps, you know, control that little Novar controller, um, which that Novar controller, you know, controls the cases down below uh bringing them in refrigeration or defrost and i'm guessing with that unplug them cases been just been running wide open and all uh which is just pretty strange to me oh man anyway i turn these cases off because you know they off time so i got them running I might wash them out, but I'm thinking about just leaving them off for the day and come back tomorrow uh, to recheck. But they already got majority of the case product pool. So, I don't know. I might need to uh, see what's what and go from there. But those are a lot of cases uh, to wash out. A lot. That's uh, there, there, there. It, it was a lot of cases. I washed four cases before frozen food because it was within one another, but medium temp case, man, and they still got, I don't know. Uh, so I just got them circuits off right about now. I hope the damn frozen food cases haven't froze over. I mean, they down the temp, they reading. But make sure that other rat was communicating, but everything communicating on this rat like it's supposed to. But man, that sucks having to, <laughs> yeah, wow. Anyway, I'm gonna show y'all what I'm talking about again. I don't know what the hell my rack off right about now. Right, y'all can see everything communicate. Now, I was, uh, if uh, I put, this was unplugged. I found it loose and I just ended up plugging it back. But if I plugged it in and I ain't had no power, then I would have to go down a, a line and stuff to see what the hell going on. But our case temps, our circuit should be reading. Yeah, see? Now we're getting high 60s and stuff. Earlier it was getting like 30s. Yeah, that's a bummer. All the cases just froze up like that. Well, that's uh, surprised our frozen food case is doing pretty good and stuff. Well, I'm gonna leave it at that. I bet they got frozen up. Let me know y'all thoughts down below. It was funny because somebody said Novar suck and all that. Y'all, y'all was funny in the comments uh, the other day. Uh, Novar not bad at all. Um, I feel like it's a pretty good system. Uh, it ain't bad at all, but. It sucks like if something unplugged, it can, you know, cause like a domino effect. So, I mean, to me, they lost all them cases, all them cases 
due to a 24 volt plug not connected right all that product and stuff <laughs> man I ain't gonna lie I've been seeing a lot of interesting things a lot of interesting things um, so I bet, I mean, people forget sometimes. It was times where I forget to turn on the circuit or, you know, other folks forget to turn on the circuit or any other thing. But try to best remember what you uh, closed off or open up so it don't cost nobody a unnecessary call. Even though it's like easy money, easy hours, but at the end of the day, I could have been doing something else with these hours, you know? I could have been waiting for another call that you know somebody actually you know needed and it's something with the equipment that went down instead of uh something that could have been prevented if y'all get what i'm saying um yeah but i'm just suck more of these other circuits off because i'm thinking about uh washing them down i'm gonna just uh come back tomorrow but i might end up washing them though if I wash them, ain't no telling what time we get uh, out of here. Might as well just go ahead and turn them off. The fan's still going to run and all. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to just leave them frozen food cases on. Uh, I bet they uh, ain't no telling how long that been like that, though, either. It was a kind of odd call because it just said all cases never like listed the cases in uh, the, the uh, description. Usually list all the cases in the description, but not this time because that controller was unplugged. And I'm pretty sure Novar they, or Walmart, they didn't have no type of communications uh, with this particular rack. It's so beautiful out here too. But anyway, I'm going to go down and give y'all some uh, little extra footage. Uh, show y'all what's going on. I might just leave those off because they already poured the product so we'll see i'm probably get with the manager all right guys so we got one case as you can see it's frozen up they lost all their product so i'm gonna just start what i can and wash them out might as well i'm already here so and these cases not too bad to wash out just lift this fan up or the fan shroud and then the metal piece and she easy to go. All right guys, so I got the case all clean, back together. So my cases now got airflow, but look how dirty these cases are. All right, guys. So I washed out the produce. Uh, the other cases, they starting to get airflow now. Uh, I'm gonna just leave them off uh, for a good bit. Um, and uh, just go from there. I need to check some other things while I'm up here real quick. See if they got them uh, controllers or them boards. Anyway, guys, we don't got bad flood back right now. I've been at most of them circuits off. Uh, most of the compressors are not being called right about now. Um, but probably gonna take some time but it's never 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 good to have flood back flood back can wash oil away from the compressors anytime you have flood back possibly you got some frozen up cases as i had recently seen um possibly some wide open tsvs super heat might be all it'll be all sorts of kind of things um but it's not good um and if i haven't mentioned it before 
um, with the TSV, um, if y'all don't have no cartridge in there, that could cause flood back too. And um, I thought that was crazy. That happened to me one time. This one store, just the compressors kept uh, having flood back, and it was knocking them compressors out uh, left and right. So I had about like five compressors getting changed back to back. But also like now. Nah, got to figure out you know what's causing the issue and kind of find out somebody who installed a coil uh just forgot to put a cartridge in so that was pretty interesting real interesting right now i still got all my cases off right now i'm probably going to turn on the produce uh cases uh b6 uh and b5 uh so go ahead it's bs that's how they got it in the uh, controller but I'm putting that as sure as b so i'm gonna just turn those two on let the temps come down uh, let the other one still you know run off uh just with the fans on the refrigeration oh and by the way uh one of the cases are in defrost right now so that's like a good sign uh, i guess it goes i wonder if they got the case input modules usually they have case input modules at these stores which are under well above uh the meat coolers uh, half the time um but <clears throat> yeah let's turn this bad boy on uh, i think it's v6 and five All right, guys, so everything seemed to be uh, going in defrost itself. I got this uh, one particular case, BS04, uh, um, the whole meat. And uh, that one case that I washed uh, that I showed y'all, uh, it's in defrost when it defrosts by itself. All right, anyway, I'm about to uh, check this controller. Well, um, not the controller, but, um, well, I do need to look into the controller at that particular circuit uh, to see the uh, defrost schedule time. And uh, if it come out of the defrost, like it's supposed to, I'm fine with it, I'm A-OK -okay with it. So, everything seemed to be around like 48 or so, they not around like 70. I like how they were earlier. Um, typically when a uh, case do, especially medium temp, when they do go in defrost, it is about 48, maybe 50 degrees, the highest it should reach. Um, so all the temps are in that range. So anyway, I'm looking at this circuit BS. It's BS4. It's the medium daily indicated 49 we got a default schedule it's about 10 something right now yeah so it just went in defrost at 10 p.m as i can see defrost schedule 10 p.m and it, it is around uh 10 p.m and all that so yeah I just wonder like was it unplugged accidentally or just just because because like i said i've seen a lot of stuff uh, with my own two eyes so probably i would say it's on accident and stuff but without this controller i mean I don't, it would really don't know when to throw it in defrost or not. It's like just running wide open in refrigeration and all that. So like, they don't have like, I'm guessing the feedback. Like I said, everything on here was reading like at 33 as default. Now that I plugged it in, we got reading like we're supposed to. So it's pretty interesting. But uh, I ain't gonna prolong it and stuff. Let these case tips come down and uh, just call it a night. 
I'm gonna write this up as that. Everything going in defrost like it's supposed to. Anyway, y'all let me know y'all thoughts uh, down below. Um, Alright guys, so that circuit is at 10 p.m. It's nearly about 10. So everything going in defrost like it's supposed to now. It ain't running wide open, like I said. This kind of remind me of them, uh, them spoiling bees, if I ain't mistaken, but they have something. You know, Novar, yeah, yeah, Novar. This one particular Walmart, they got these these other type of square controllers and they use this and it'd be like at the case, these boxes right here. And I remember one time somebody had, uh, for some odd reason, the, it wasn't getting 24 volts. Somebody had a loose or something. And all I did is just plugged it back in and everything just started working out fine like it's supposed to. So that kind of threw me off. But uh, some Walmarts, uh, these bad boys right here would probably be at the case. Um, I seen them like that. Um, but yeah. But Nova are not bad at all compared to these other stores. I can call them and stuff, but I also called a lady and stuff, well, them, and confirmed that everything was reading like it's supposed to once again. So anyway, that's probably gonna be it, guys. Um, I'll probably get a video of the temps uh, down, so I get with y'all uh, in a bit, come back up here and show y'all the uh, case temps. Uh, right now it's at in the high 40s. Uh, case temps. Uh, that's BS4. Go to BS. Use all my case temps right here. As y'all see. Alright guys, so this is the produce, it's going in defrost, um, like I, like I said or mentioned earlier that Novar uh, ES1 was unplugged, so I guarantee the controller ain't know what the hell to do, and I, like everything was just wide open, just stuck in the refrigeration and all, so it's going in defrost now, and Earlier, I couldn't even uh, look at graphs or anything of that nature. Um, so, just make sure everything plugged in like it's supposed to. Anyway, you got case 36. As you can see, nearly the whole store is about empty. But we got it down to 10, 35. 34. All right, guys, temps are down. Still coming down, still down. that's going to be it y'all let me know y'all thoughts down below it's crazy that something so simple can uh, make a huge 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 impact but i'm not surprised because i see it every time so anyway we got uh, case tips down uh, everything going to defrost like they're supposed to uh so i'm a-okay with it and uh, we we'll just uh, go from there looking pretty rough right now it's like uh 1 a.m right now so i'm uh you guys have a good night, man. Uh, if y'all made it this far, uh, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Uh, drop your input down below. Uh, let me know y'all thoughts. We had produce down, meat down, dairy down, yogurt down. Look at all that. Uh, 
I know some of y'all do Walmarts and stuff, so y'all let me know if y'all came across uh, some issues like that. I like this. Uh, I know sometimes the case input modules uh, can uh, act a little wonky too. Um, but in this case, um, we would like to be that um, little controller behind, well, that little monitor thing behind the Nova control, which wasn't even plugged up at all. So. I thought it was just kind of odd because I couldn't get the graphs or any other uh, thing uh, to pop up. So I had a look and that thing was just loose. But anyway, I see y'all got to find your manager so I can get a signature and get out of here. So y'all be safe. Peace. See y'all.